Oh, hey YouTube. Mike here. How are we all doing today? Yeah, I just had a, uh, I throw this camera on. Uh, a couple of things I want to show you is, um, I've been like sick for the last two weeks. Just a cough I couldn't get away with. They gave me some zinc and then, um, then actually one of my customers who's my cardiologist uh, recommended a steroid to me. So got a lot of energy. So, um, figured let me throw this video up. Um, all right. What I have here. Yes, and I know I'm smoking. That's a gosh. Like my first one in a long time. Okay. This is Spider. Hello, Spider. It's a bit set that's sold through Lowe's. You can get them online and stuff like that. But um, it's pretty much, I think, the identical piece as the CMT. The orange bits, these right here. These bits that we really love. And I'll give you a quick backstory. I'm going to leave these out a minute. We were doing a tankless heater for a contractor a couple of months ago. Matter of fact, quite a few months ago. And we set up our Milwaukee rotary hammer. And with the new uh, tankless company, Navion, that I've been doing, um, all the high-end tanklesses are just vented with the two-inch PVC. That's like a two and three-quarter inch hole, two and <coughs> five-eighth inch hole, some, somewhere around there. We drill the hole through, and a lot of times it's either uh, concrete block, or excuse me, it's cinder block, or con you know, cinder block filled with concrete, or hardy board. And for all you old know out there, hardy board, it's like as tough as concrete. I go through tons of like Lennox, hole saw bits. Uh, when we were doing the Renai tankless heaters and we were doing the concentric venting, it's a big vent and it's like a five and a half inch hole we had to cut. We would go through like a five and a half, five and three quarter inch Lennox hole saw. It would two holes that say boom, done, throw it in the garbage. Well, on this job, it was a cinder block house. And we're setting up the drill, the big Milwaukee inch and nine sixteenths drill, and getting it up on a ladder. And the, and the uh, foreman says, "Oh, don't, don't, don't drill a hole." And I'm thinking, "What do you mean? I got to drill a hole?" He goes, "No, no, no. Let, let me use these bits I got. The things cut through everything." So he brings out this case, and I see the front of it, and I'm thinking, "Dude, that's a wood bit." Well. He puts it on the arbor. I just I just bought this set for myself. We have a set because once I drilled this first hole in this block from this job, which was not far away from Lowe's, I went and bought a set of these because the bit I'm going to pull out of here in two seconds drilled a hole through concrete. So this bit right here, I'm almost positive this was the size of the bit. No. Yep, two and three quarters. So this bit here, two and three quarters, drilled right through cinder block and right through the other side without even blinking an eye. Now the set, the set I paid was $149. It's on sale for $89. I would run to Lowe's and grab it. Inch and three eight two three four and a half inch. Inch and three eight to four and a half inch. And it has a, a wood arbor and a concrete arbor and basically it goes into so you got a button that releases it you pull back spring loaded so you pull back Thread on the hole saw. 
Now, it is a little bit of a pain in the neck for the first time because there's paint in the threads. And I thought, oh, it's just a cheap Chinese knockoff, and that's why. But it was paint in the threads. And then you push this in. Now, the beauty about it is you can remove this to take out the wood core or the, or the uh, piece of masonry. It's good. Now, they say it's good for wood, plastic, cement fiber, which is um, hardy board, concrete block, brick, and ceramic tile. Now, we have not used it for, like, we really don't cut through tile, and if we do, I have special tile bits. Um, but our wood, hardy board, pretty, pretty much we're going to go in order. Hardy board, wood, wood concrete block, like that. That is our um, main um, things we drill through. Now, they do sell these are separate, these are separate, and these are separate. Now, they're black. Let's see which way. There we go. Now, here's the CMT bits. No, the other one go through. Nope. See the CMT bits. You actually have the arbor built onto it, but they look just like them. Just like them. Here, let me get a concrete bit. Concrete bit. Come on. Now, yes, they are. This is this is smaller because. With the CMT bits, the um, larger the bit, see how it folds right through? And this one here will fit in perfectly. And again, you could remove it. Uh, and in comparison, this is actually cheaper, especially at $79. It's, it's, it's a heck of a lot cheaper. Uh, but... Um, I don't think I have see everything in this kit here is a smaller yeah I can't we can't do a comparison um, no I'm sorry I only have the smaller arbor but as you can see it was pretty much like identical now the case on CMT um, is bought separately they just give me them but they're bought separately so this is a whole kit, nice and look how nice and small it is. It's just like really compact um, kit. But yes, this is it's three carbide. Let's see what size is this. Uh, two and nine sixteenths, and this is uh, what would I say two and three quarters. So very close, very close. As you, I mean, come on, very close. <laughs> I mean, what I, if I was to guesstimate, this is about about $125 in this kit, $110, and I got the case for free. I got a whole load of these cases, too. Every time I go in, a guy gives me a case. But now I don't even buy these. Um, so uh, I would say I'm using this now three months, maybe longer. And, and this bit is still going. Because this is the bit we use to drill for a two-inch pipe. we got to drill one hole through the wall. I mean, it eats through um, hardy board. Now, the only problem is this bit. And we did use it once for hardy board. And then I said, let's try the concrete bit. And the concrete bit ate it away. Ate it away. Now, you don't change this, you throw in the garbage. So, you don't change, like on a Lennox bit or a Milwaukee, you change the actual um, drill arbor. You don't. You just, you just throw them in the garbage. But they are, they're like 12 bucks, eleven ninety five. And then the replacement bits. But right now at Lowe's, I paid 
um, 79, it was either 79 or 80, I don't have the receipt, because you know what it is, I dropped stuff off at my shop. It was either 79 or 89.95 at Lowe's. Now, I bought, because I started, I started assembling, I started putting the, 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 the flex together. And I'll just quickly go over a couple of things. Um, I used, just to let you know, I used, funny, I used the flex. Um, I had to go to my um, daughter and future son-in-law's house. And I used the drywall cutout as like a Dremel. And it worked. And I used it with the, um, oh my God, R Roto Zip, Roto Zip bits. Remember Roto Zip? They were like the first um, rotary tool before these came out. And I have it. I, I have it. The motor's burned out, but I still got all the attachments to it. And I had bits. So I took them and they worked perfect. A little cumbersome because it's so thick, but it worked great. It cut out. Um, I had to cut out for, I had to put an um, outdoor light in, but this thing, it went right through actually hardy board and uh, wood, and I, I had to open the hole up more for a piece of electrical conduit to go through it, but I bought, um, I bought this set of spider bits, this, these are um, like hole saw bits, they're uh, for like metal uh, type of hole saw bit, and they work pretty much the same. This, I can tell you, was $49.95. So they give you two arbors, but one, again, is a little bigger than the other for the larger bits. And they give you two, so you got the larger arbor, and it works the same way. It's the same arbor, but instead of the, you, you have, um, I know my eyes are going to go three quarter to two and a half. And I, I was using the, what was I using? Inch and an eighth. And they give you two, because, but one is, see, one is a little smaller than the other. And these screw on. There's no, there's no clip in there. They just screw on. This one has the clip that, like the other one. And it's the same one as this one. Same one. Same exact one. And from the um, inch and a half to the two and a half is the same with the spring piece. But they, I only use this one, one just to go through. My only, my only like drawback with this is that I'm used to the um, Milwaukee uh, 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 hole saws and arbors and extensions and their, um, uh, what is that, 5 8 uh, quick connect chuck. They have this, they have different extensions and then all of their bits, hole saws. <clears throat> uh, self feeders all of that off click in to it so we do have um, um, the we do have drills um, right angle actually in like the whole hogs with the Jacobs Chuck on it and that's what you need for this to go with a right angle and because this won't fit now they do make extensions uh, I, I they didn't have any at Lowe's at the time but I looked them up they do make extensions but it's a small one, very easy to kind of twist, where the Milwaukee ones um, and the old style Lennox ones, they're also very hard because to twist because they're, I mean, I've twisted them, you know, hitting a knot or hitting something solid, but um, this would twist a lot faster. That's my only thing is I like the quick connect because you know when you have to drill a hole, but because you, and then you got to keep going because you can't get your drill in between studs because the studs are only like that instead of like 12 inches apart. So you got to kind of unclick it, put an extension on, click the drill back, drill through it. You got to keep doing that. Well, it's very, it's almost impossible to do it with this because you got to use the Jacobs truck to do it. But this is also, it's an 11 piece bi-metal set. Um, they say, you know, five times faster, yada, yada, yada. But I can tell you this right now, that right there, we have gone through at least a dozen holes without even blinking an eye. The, and, the, and the bit's still sharp. It's still sharp. And we're going to be using it uh, Tuesday to do another uh, another tankers. All right, here. This is something that is another thing that I found at Lowe's and I bought, and now I bought for here for the shop, is this Jorgensen set. Um, as you know, Jorgensen is uh, a clamp company. And they came out with this... Um, 276 piece um, 
a, a bit set for like the Dremel and the Milwaukee and and it's got pretty much everything it's got the metal and fiber brushes grinders tip grinders rubber pieces rubber holders for the um, sanders cutting discs cutting disc wheels more sanders uh, collets a wrench uh, a tile uh, almost like a tile grinder and then drill bits well to buy like Dremel pieces this set here was $29.95 and I bought a set and gave it to my son for uh, it's got a light, nice little carry handle and it's pretty you know we, we put a little wire through it just to prevent it from opening but I bought it because we clean a lot of stuff out we clean a lot of threads we clean a lot of uh, what they call filters that are in tankless heaters the inner and outer threads we clean the igniters we clean surfaces of the water valves and stuff like that. Small stuff, not stuff that you need a big grinder for, where you need a big wire wheel. Something small and delicate, like a sturgeon. Well, the bit set is really good, and, this, and the things do last. So um, I picked one up for myself. Actually, this is going on my truck. Sorry, it's not going in the, in the shop here. It's going in my truck. Um, so yes, Jorgensen and um, Lowe's. Lowe's has it. And it was uh, 20, $29.95. So what I did was I started setting stuff up. And this I brought. I took um, one of the um, uh, 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 stack pack systems. And I started it with screws like that. And then I took um, uh, the base model. I put the extension cord on it. Oh, i got to get this thing away from uh, the cap here. Because we're putting Christmas lights up. So, can you see that? I uh, don't know if you can see that, but you can see the top here. Here's the side pieces that I put, I mounted on. And they're on both sides. And basically, you could take your screws and put them like right there as you're working and then you could take put it in backwards so I kind of put in stuff that I would always be using for I don't know if I have no I didn't put and I don't feel like taking it apart but your drill will clip on this too. I the drill is somewhere in here. But um in here and yes, I know people say, well you got all the Milwaukee wire. I like this system. I did some electrical stuff in here, wire nuts, screws, some uh connector fittings just so that um, you know when I take it and I actually do carry some electrical stuff on my truck um, for when I'm with uh, if I have to do something at a job if I don't take my regular truck I kind of started um, packing this out a little bit With the soles old blades they had them on sale the flex ones um, I gotta show you this stuff here it's called T-A-J-I-M-A Tajama Tajama I got their knives I got I actually got their um, um, uh, what else did I get my head is not there. See, I got this spider bit. This is a um, one-inch self-feeder. I just kind of set this up. And it was nice because I took this whole thing right in the truck. Um, here's something cool. The Tough System Knives. And I think this is the one that converts into a scraper. Let me see. Yes, it does. See, this one converts into a scraper.
and then this one here is just a, it's got another it's got a cartridge and I got it the regular knife here somewhere put some Japanese scores in here still like I said I'm still packing it out no pun intended Handles are still very stiff on this. I think the drill is in here. Yes, it is. Nope, so it's not the drill. So the drill will hang on the side too. Okay? So you could just rest the drill on that. Also, they make a battery um, charging system, a holder, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> and this it's got good power good power good um, um, chuck lock good speed I used it to drill the holes through the hardy board very nice I don't know if I showed you I picked up the barrel grip sawzall the variable speed brushless motor uh, another spider extension 7 8 a lot of this stuff's got to go on my truck to test for um, uh, oh, and then I got two of these paddle bits spider three quarter and one inch didn't use them yet but again like I said a lot of this stuff I got to go use on my truck oh here's the knife the regular uh, it's, it's, it's nice and and very easy to change the blade but I'm gonna go over this stuff again again this has got they got a cartridge system in here but I gotta go through this whole thing and look at it um, here is their um, this is their um, tape measure it's only 16 feet but it's pretty nice I mean it's very ergonomical and it's got a lanyard so you could take it out, measure your thing, it's cooked to your thing, you drop your tape measure, it's on a lanyard, they sell a lanyard for it. Um, yeah, I'm not, you, you guys saw the, but I want to show you this um, new Weera, um, I got to leave this out, so I'm going to bring this in and use this tomorrow. Um, at the top. Okay. I picked up a set of Weera screwdrivers. It's a six piece set. And I'm going to put it in the case here. I'm on a weird angle here. Excuse me. He's. But here's something cool. This is Weir's new Zyklop pocket set Imperial. So I actually am getting the um, metric set um, for Christmas. I'm getting a bunch of stuff for Christmas, so I'll be showing that. But check this out. It is their Zyklop ratchet. In like a screwdriver form so you could use it as a screwdriver there's all your bits Torx Phillips regular uh, adapter and then it comes with they're actually 3 8 sockets so you can use it as a ratchet Your reverses on the back here. Your release button. And this is that twist and turn. You see I put it in but it'll still fall out. You put it in and you turn it and it locks it in. And they give you half inch. Three eight. Quarter. Nope. Five sixteenths. They give you an extension, 
which actually fits right in this middle of the ratchet. And then you could put your, or you could just take off a bit from here. Let's just say we're going to go with the number 20 Torx. And it'll go right in there. Or you could go in and extend it. Now, I don't know how, you know, these little plastic things on the bottom are very flimsy. And the Weeha ones I had did not last. So we'll see how these last um, from Weera. But they're pretty cool. When I saw this, I'm like, wow. So it just came in. And you know, kind of a nice little belt holster. You got your Velcro. I'll be putting this, this will be going in my truck. Aha, uh -huh. it's got to go down because it goes into a hole here. It's a shame how nice these cases are from where up. Oh, see, I even got um, chalk for um, the chalk line to jammer. It's, 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 it says the, I get it from um, Ernie's Tools. It's like right up the block from my shop. I got um, the caulking gun. Oh my God. I don't know why I never brought it. It's like a variable speed mechanical caulking gun. And it's got all the little bells and whistles, the cutter, the reamer, you know, the, 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 the poker. But, um, and it's like powder coated, shiny. Looks like, uh, it looks like an engine or something. So pretty cool. And we use the heck out of it. At least my other truck uses the heck out of it. But it, yeah, Tajama, Tajima, Tajima. It's a Japanese company, and um, they they make uh it's actually they got five different um, grits I guess of um, chalk. This is number three, red. Um, I didn't know. I just grabbed it off the shelf when I got the chalk line. I didn't load it yet. So that's about it. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a metal bit. That's nothing. All right, YouTube. Um, yeah, I didn't expect to put a video up today because, like I said, I'm still there. But I, I had to show this um, because, like I said, these bits, you, you know, I, I mean, I, I fall in love with tools or, or a tool or, or, or uh, an implement for a tool. But, you know, certain things, man, I really fall in love with. And when things make our job a lot easier and also a lot cleaner and a lot neater, because remember, not necessarily making it easier, it's making it look nice when you're done. And that's my reputation. So um, this thing makes such a nice, beautiful hole. And then the escutcheon goes over it. There's enough room to put mollies in there and seal it and cork it. It looks great. All right, YouTube. Um, I think I saw you um, before or after Thanksgiving, one of those days. I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. I know I, did. I was sick too during Thanksgiving. So I'm just taking it easy. Like today's Sunday, my wife didn't want me to do nothing yesterday, nothing. Oh, um, just to give you a little update. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I probably will be putting a decent sized wood shop in my new shop. I pretty much have it all set up with what I need for um, uh, my plumbing, my, my piping, my, my tankless heaters, my gas piping. I made a bin just for all my electrical stuff when I have to do electrical. Uh, what else did I put in there? All my spare parts for both Renai and Navion, all the venting, um, God, I forget what else I put in there. Um, my, my, my large tools. So I have a big open area. And I can, can put stuff there. And the floor is really good. Really good. Not like this thing here. I mean, just to wheel that cart around, it kills me. So I might be uh, moving the saw stop there. 
the band saw there. I already got the vacuum system. I brought, the, I got the compressor working. So I put the compressor in. I, I knew I had a 20 amp outlet um, in, excuse me one second. I knew I had a 20 amp outlet in there. So I put the compressor up against the 20 amp outlet and uh, got it nice and leveled and bolted to the floor. And then just above it, I put the Husky reel that was right here over there. And now I can reach all around. May, it's mainly to fill up the tires of the truck. They'll pull over there. You know, I don't use air. I got everything cordless. I have one of these uh, Flexzilla cords there. Um, I got my two shanders. My Festool work, portable workstation, vacuum, uh, saws, tracks. So um, I'm going to probably be doing it like a miter saw station. And then maybe move the saw stop there, the band saw there, and just leave my Festool stuff here, MFT. I still have the plans, and I still want to get the mobile table built so I can move this. Um, what else was I thinking of moving? Oh, uh, make it the sustainer. I've been doing the Milwaukee rack there. I want to do it in here too. But, you know, I think that's where I want, because I got a lot more room in there. And when I have a lot more room, I'll be able to really enjoy doing the projects. See, a large project here, like when I built the wall units, and you can go back and look at the videos, or I built that big gaming table, you could see I wasn't happy because there's not a lot of room in here um, in, in this. And it just kind of, you know, when I was doing the slot car boxes, that was pretty good because, you know, I could walk right here on the table and, and, and do it and then come over to here. But, you know, when you're building a large piece of uh, furniture, like my wife wants a new wall unit. We want to get a, the TV hung up on the wall. And right now I have a pre-made base. And then next to what I built, I'm big into DVDs. So I probably have 2,000 DVDs, 1,000 on each side on uh, uh, shelving that I built. And again, you can go back and look at vi a video that I, I mean, when I made it. Painted them black to match the cabinetry. And she wants a new wall unit. And I, I, I just can't make it. I could never make it in here, not a million years, unless I made it, uh, you know, half a piece, a 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 half a piece, and then mold it together. But you can't. Like a tower, you got to build one piece. So I just don't have the room. So I think I'm going to uh, really put a lot of emphasis into that other. Plus, I can weld there. Um, I, can do my, I can do my machining there. Um, uh, a lot of stuff I can do there because it's a commercial it's all concrete. I don't have to worry about rubber and stuff like that. All right, YouTube. Um, you know, the shtick, I love, love you for all the, the comments, the questions, the subscribes, the likes. Just, you know, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Hit the little bell over there. It'll notify you when I'm going to be putting a video out. And uh, if you got a question, my email will be below. Just uh, shoot me a question and I'll answer it for you. All right? You all be safe out there, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now. Why can't I find the off button?